it's important to extract the highest value possible for our resources. So um, in most cases, export markets are higher paying, or at least um, the target markets um, can be higher paying than our domestic market. So it's important for us to get the best value possible um, from our resource. Uh, and sometimes export markets allow that. Europe has the highest standards typically when it comes to natural resources or natural resource-based products. Um, especially with biomass, they've got the most stringent regulations around that and it's only becoming more and more stringent. But what that means is coupled to our extremely sustainable biomass, which puts us in a very unique um, position, um, we get an exclusive access into certain markets where, where others can't enter those markets because they cannot meet the sustainability requirements. So I think the European um, market is still the most interesting for us. Um, it's a high, high paying market. Um, the, the consumers there are very self-conscious about environmental um, responsibility and climate change. So they make decisions based on that when purchasing um, goods and, and, and product. When you are able to create a, a traceable standard system um, right to where that charcoal is harvested and produced, you are able to ensure that that entity that is supplying that, uh, that local Nabian entity is adhering to the best labor and safety regulations. And from us as Ministry of Trade, that's what we also want to see. Anything you can add on there in terms of those standards, Colin? Yeah, I think the standards drive uh, development in the sector. They raise the, the bar. Um, and they continue to evolve. So it's not a static state. Um, we are continuously in the charcoal sector being subjected to new standards or stricter standards. And I think that forces the industry to be more responsible for the socioeconomic and the environmental concerns.